Hi, I'm Gary Cassie. Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. Today, I'm going to teach you how to lose money. And you'd say, well, how would that be a benefit? Well, you're doing a really good job of it right now, probably. If we can show you how you're losing money, reverse engineer that, we can find money and help you get out of debt and win in life financially here on Fixing the Money Thing. In a system that's working against you, now is the perfect time to learn how to lose money. I'm Gary Cassie, and for nine years, we lived in a chaotic, stress-filled, visionless life. I cried out to God. He said, I want my people free. America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, shares the kingdom principles that changed his life, defeated his debt, and set him free. You'll never find your destiny until you fix the money thing. Hi, Gary Cassie here with Fixing the Money Thing, and today's special edition, How to Lose Money, is a program that you will need to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. You know, people lose money every day, and they are professionals at it. In fact, most people never know where their money goes. They just always end up short and in debt. But I'm here to tell you today that is not by accident. That is a well-thought-out plot against your life. And today on Fixing the Money Thing, we're going to show you how to lose money so that in, with that understanding, you can stop and keep your money and win. So let's talk about losing money today. Chapter three in my book, Fixing the Money Thing, is a chapter that goes into great detail how to lose money so that you'll know how you're losing money. Again, it's a pun on words, but today, again, we're going to talk about how to lose money so that you can keep money. Are you ready to go? Grab your pencil. Let's begin. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7 the Bible says the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a slave to the lender. Now, we live in a society where nine out of 10 families live paycheck to paycheck. It's not because they don't make enough money when asked why they're in debt, why they're living paycheck to paycheck. The usual answer is we just don't make enough money. That is not true. And although it can be true, that's not the main reason. As we find out today, that most people have enough money to live debt-free, but they don't know how they're losing it. So today, how to find out how you're losing money to keep it. First off, understand that slaves have no options. A slave works for someone else's profit. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is a slave to the lender. Now, if I asked people if they were a slave, of course, they would probably say no. But the fact is, they are. They send their labor in envelopes every month to someone else. They're earning the money, they're making the money, but they're not keeping the money, and that's the key. You know, like it was in the past, if you think of a slave like in Pharaoh's day or Israel's day, uh, in, in Pharaoh's day, I mean, uh, Israel was enslaved there in Egypt, and they were provided a place to live. They had food to eat. Uh, in exchange to being enslaved to Pharaoh, which he then obtained their labor for his own profit, his own use. So you would say, well, yeah, I understand. Israel was a slave in Egypt. I mean, obviously, they didn't have any options, no choices. All of their labor went to Pharaoh. Let me ask you a question. What's the difference today? If you analyze how most people live, they live in a house they don't own. They drive cars to work to pay for the house they don't own with a car loan. They use a visa to buy the clothes to go to work to pay for the house they don't own. They don't pay the visa off. And then they also buy furniture to, you know, kind of furnish their house on finance company loans. They go to the grocery store using their visa card. You can continue down that path as long as you want. But the bottom line is they're sending their labor in envelopes away every month to the master. The rich rule over the poor. The rich mainly meaning someone that has the money that you need and you're basically exchanging your labor for survival and uh, giving up your freedom, your money. And they know that and they want it. So we are slaves. You need to write that down on your piece of paper. Yes, slavery is still alive and well in the world today. Someone wants your money. Now, here's a key. To get out of debt and to understand how to win financially, you must know how you are losing money. This is important. And now, just, let's talk about that for a second. A banker doesn't take the time to educate you on how to avoid paying interest. The IRS doesn't educate you on how to avoid paying taxes. I mean, who is the advocate for the, for the, the families of America 
Who is the advocate that's going to show them how they're losing money? There's no one out there that's going to help you know how to avoid losing money because everyone's after your money. Every advertisement on TV, all of the marketing things you see, even on Facebook, on the Internet, it's all revolving around how can we get your money. Understand this, someone wants you in debt. Now, as a believer, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, Behold, I send you as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be shrewd as serpents and innocent as doves. Now, that's what I'm going to help you with today is to become shrewd and understand how this happens. Let's talk about life in the general terms. In a normal week, if you go to your mailbox, I guarantee even probably today, you'll find a credit card offer in the mailbox. You say, well, no, not one, possibly three, possibly five. I've had as many as 10 in one day. And here's the thing I want you to catch. Have you ever received that offer before from that lender? In other words, the credit card offer you received in the mail yesterday, this week, have you ever seen it before? And you would say probably, well, yes, I get that same offer in the mail every single month. My next question is, why would a company spend a dollar a month on you sending the exact same credit card offer in the mail? The assumption we would make is, hey, I didn't buy it last time. Why would I want it this time? They are fishing and waiting patiently for a moment of pressure or temptation. They are waiting patiently for you to say yes. And to do so, they spend billions of dollars. In fact, this is hard to believe. This is true in the U.S. 600 billion, with a B, credit cards are sent out every year. Offer, credit card offers in the mail, 600 billion. You say, well, why would they want to do that again? Well, it takes 22 years to pay off a normal credit card debt. 22 years, the sweater's already in the goodwill, Whatever you bought with it 22 years down the road is forgotten, but you're still paying for it on a credit card. Why? Because of the high interest rate. The average interest rate, if you would add up all the credit cards in the United States that are active with a balance as of this past April, the average interest rate, active credit cards, 21.04%. Write that down. That's not just a number. It represents millions of dollars. And so if you want to say, how can I guarantee myself to lose as much money as I can, use credit cards. 21.04% is the average interest rate. Let me show you how this works in real life. If you invested $25 a month at that interest rate, 21.04%, guess, I'll wait for you, how much that would grow to. Over 50 years, age 20 to age 70, your working lifetime, 50 years, $25 a month would grow to, did you get close to 48 million? If not, that's the correct answer, $48 million. That's a lot of money, $25 a month. Let's make it even smaller. How about a dollar a month? Everyone can afford a dollar a month. A dollar a month invested at 21.04% grows to $1.8 million. Now let's talk about your bank for a minute. Your bank's not in business because they love you. They're not trying to provide a way to write checks and for you to live. They're in business to make money, friend. And right now, if you look at the CD rates out there, the average rate for a CD might be one to 2%, but your bank has found a way to take your money, pay you one or 2% and loan it out at 21.04% on a credit card. And they have found a way to make lots of money because they know something that people don't think about. And that is once you make that one purchase that will take you 22 years to pay off, you will probably use the card again. You see, they know that once you have their card, they probably have you hooked for life, sending them interest payments at 21.04% for as long as you live. So if you want to talk about how to lose your money, I would put that at the number one slot on my list. The list continues. It's a very long list. When we come back, we're going to talk about and continue how to lose money on fixing the money thing.